OK, so let's say I start at the origin and walk along the vector OA, phi e which equals 5i minus 7j, to get to point A. From A, I walk along vector AB, which is 10i plus 18j, to get to point B. And then from B, I walk along vector BC, which is 16i minus 2j, to get to point C. Find the magnitude and bearing of the vector O to C. So what we need to recognise from this is that O to C would be the vector I would travel along as if, if I just went straight from the origin to my final destination, the point C. And that would be, well, OA. So that gets me to, from the origin to A. Then I travel along AB. So that gets me from the origin to B plus BC, and that will get me from the origin to C. So it's really just the sum, the resultant vector, of those three that I've got here. This one, this one, and this one. So I've got 5 plus 10 plus 16, which is, well, that's 26, so that's 31i, minus 7 plus 18, so, minus, so 11, take away 2, so minus Sorry, minus 7 plus 18 is 11. Takeaway 2 is 9, so 9j. So that is the vector that I would need to travel on to get it directly from O to C. So this, if I was to draw in a north line, this vector would look something like this. So this is 31i plus 9j. So if I draw in a right angle triangle, then this would be 31, that would be 9. So I can work out the length, the magnitude of OC, by looking at the square root of 31 squared plus 9 squared. So 31 squared plus 9 squared is the square root of 1,042. OK, which is approximately 32.3. So 32.3 to 3 sig fig. Now, the bearing that I have here, I can work out theta. So theta is the inverse tan of the opposite over the adjacent. So the inverse tan of 31 over 9 is 73.8 degrees to 3 sig fig. So the bearing is 074 degrees to 3 sig fig there. OK? So that is how I can solve this problem, which looked uh, absolutely horrendous. But using vectors, I can deal with it by breaking the problem down and simplifying it into just looking at a resultant vector and then finding the magnitude and direction of that.